Hello everybody, this is the Mojin, welcome you to Let's Play Zombie Smashers X. This is a freeware game made by Ska Software. It wasn't originally freeware, it was shareware. But then after a few years they decided to make it freeware. Woohoo! So yes, difficult the city options, difficulty on medium, the level ridiculous. Woo, everybody loves more gore and guts and all that. But it's cartoon graphics. So it's not that violent. Anyway, uh, not, nothing much actually matters in the options other than that. So let's go! We've got a couple of characters. You can choose. I don't know how many uh, exactly they are. Lazy to count. But I want to choose this guy. Ian Shank Shuffle. Now each character has his own special ability and I particularly like this guy's ability and his looks. So yes, here we are. I'm jumping. And I better just run because jumping is actually slower. Ooh, next scene. So, this is Zombie Smashers X, so you can guess by the title what we do. We smash zombies. Which I'm not currently doing. You may think, hey, what are you doing? You're supposed to be smashing zombies. Well, if I don't avoid those, this let's play will be very long. Now here's the boss area, so I will smash zombies over here. So controls are simple. There's punch, there's kick, and there's jump. And of course, let's move around. And what you saw just now was my special power. And I did, and you just saw I just punched that guy across the street and punched those zombies head off. That's because I'm in Rage Mode. Don't know it's the official name, but I call it Rage Mode. In Rage Mode, I am invulnerable, and I can hit zombies' heads off. That was in Rage Mode, but he still fly off, flew regardless. That's because I'm holding a weapon! Press punch to get weapons. Ow. And note that... Hold on. Yeah. Weapons have a minimum range. See? I can't hit him when I'm here. But he can hit me with no punch. Anyway, you can press kick to throw those weapons. And of course collect money. I'll be showing this up soon. After our first boss, of course. And it takes forever to get up after you punch him. See that blue bar over there? That's the rage bar. And when it builds up, that happens. That's like it. And I believe our first boss is up. Nope. Apparently there's more dudes that I have to chop people's heads off. And I believe this is it. And throw! That would have hit him if I aimed it. Anyway, Trontor. Your zombie smashing will say it's here. I'm going to hit you. That's what you do. Can I grab that coin before it disappears? And time to beat him up. Yeah, you saw my special ability again? That is sort of a counter ability, I suppose. It activates when I punch while the enemy's punching me. That hurts them a lot. And zombie juggling! Whee! He's sleeping. I don't care about sleeping zombies. Juggle you more. Oh shit. I missed the juggle. I'm so sad. Infidels, you will burn in hell. Likewise. Bad word. Censored. Yeet. Okay, let's move on. Next area. Oh yeah, we missed a couple of shops just now. There's nothing that important. Let me explain to you very briefly. Tattoo shops like this one have very expensive stuff but they will give you a special ability of another character of course don't buy your own special ability although they have different names so you might get mixed up and accidentally buy your own ability which is bad I don't know which one which abilities match to which tattoo but oh whatever I'll find out, I guess. 
And here we have other shops. Some of these stuff increases your strength. Any of your stats, really, actually. Uh, you can see the stats at the left. There's health, there's max health, kick, punch, agility, defense, strength. Meh. I'm gonna mostly ignore those shops. I prefer to go to those tattoo shops and save money on those. Uh, all these are the same thing. It's just a different combination of stats they improve. And that's about it. Ow. And again, ignoring monsters. Ignoring the optional zombies. You want to do that. And here's another one. The boss stages. Of course, crypt. Yay! Now, about the difficulty settings. I don't think anything much changes in the difficulty. There's no like special particular difficulty only stuff. However, as it goes harder. Oh yeah, by the way, if you have weapons in your rage mode, you instantly cut people's heads off. Except for bosses. Or stronger folk. Wait, what I, what was I saying? Yes, the difficulty. Eh, very hard. You just get old quickly. I mean, you take more damage and you die faster. That's the only difference. I mean, I would actually do fine. And very hard. But the problem is, if I screw up and allow them to hit me once, I'm probably dead. Or at least half dead. And very easy just makes the rage bar build so freaking fast, it's just ridiculous. You'll be like in rage 100% of the time, so you'll be invulnerable 100% of the time. And boss time. Haha. <laughs> Preemptive attack. Gore. I smell cold. And I smell big fat ass. Arr, gore angry. Hi, Aga. Whee! He sucks! Oh man. Oh, see. You know, bosses are really annoying. But however, most bosses are relatively easy if you use this method. If he gets up, weapon spamming! <laughs> All you need is just two weapons and you can just spam, spam it to him. But that will take a long time. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, by the way, you can also clone weapons by jumping and throwing the weapon just as you land. Bug abuse. My preferred is method. Zombie juggling! Hey! It's lower damage, but boy, it's fun. Yeah, he's dead. Do not defeat Gore! Gore invisible! Ew, he barfed. Let's move on. Jump to each stage. Woo! Let's go, go, go. Dead man swamp, ignore. As you can see, there are different types of zombies, only two so far though. The fat one, and there's the tin one. And of course, oh yeah, there's the, there's those suited suit men. Oh shit. Now my ability is really useful if I'm getting surrounded like so. If it actually decides to activate. Now getting surrounded is kind of funny in, in this game. I mean sure you get surrounded and ambushed by so many zombies but... Also, if you actually manage to get hit, hit them, your rage bar will build up so fast that it'll become full in no time, and therefore you'll be invincible and you beat the crud out of all of them. Ow! We did a trade there. I didn't like that. Also zombies sometimes hit themselves, which is always fun to see. You know, I've been wondering something. Since I can actually clone weapons, I wonder if I can clone zombies if I grab them. Yes, you can grab zombies. See, you can grab and throw them. But they sort of... Oh shit! Oh shit. 
Oh, my life's quite low. But they sort of fly high in the first first few minutes of flight. And so you have to actually aim people relatively low. I mean you only can hit people with thrown zombies far away. Ooh, watch out for that. Ooh. See? Whee! Of course if you not attack them like this. Oops. Get. I mean if you use the punch as in using the zombie, you will bash the one the nearest person from you. Of course. Okay. Let's see. Like that. Cloning time! No, that did not work. Oh shit. <laughs> I have an invisible zombie. <laughs> Oh, this is such a cool bug. Ow. So that actually does work. Razor! Death comes quickly for mine enemies. Your type is already dead. You're already dead. Ha ha! Then prove yourself. I think he has a cool voice just because he has the shades. <laughs> I'm beating you with invisible zombie. I never say this bug before. Let's see if I can hit him with invisible zombie. Nope, that did not work. <laughs> Shit. Oh, enough of that. Zombie juggling time! Yay! And this time consuming. But also fun. And very low damage, but also fun. Except when the rage meter builds, in which case it probably deals a lot of damage. We'll meet again in hell. Beyond me is the cult of the rotten hand. They brought us back. They are too powerful for you. That's what you think. Yeah. Hey! We got 50 bucks. We can buy a tattoo. Don't get tattoos, folks. Kids. I should have said kids. Yeah, don't get tattoos, folks, kids. It's permanent, and you wouldn't like it. Unless you like it. In which case, you might not like it in the future. Ouch. Damn, I should have bought some health. You know what? Yeah. Let's buy some health first. Get up, yo! Annoying, the only annoying thing about this game is the time people take to get up. Go pizza the hut. Alright. First time buying the dawn. Um, see? They show which stats they give you after you buy the item. Which is not that good. Oh, yeah. I believe Soda heals the most health. And that's my budget already. Yep. Later on we'll get a better health restoring item which we can buy. So, here we go. Alright, again ignore. I believe I have enough health. If I die I'll just have to restart. Yeah, by the way, dying, I believe your gold halves. And uh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Watch them idiotically throw weapons against each other. Alright, what you want to do is go this way. This is... I think this is the time where the, where the game stops being non-linear. As in... What? Wait! This part of the game where it starts being non-linear. There we go. As in their moment perhaps. You want to go to the basketball team, I believe. Basically, you just want to find the places where there are bosses. And when there are bosses, they'll say something like... After they show the title to me? Yep, smells like trouble. Here we go. Haha. <laughs> Ow. As you can see, my shuffling can really help me in that combat there. That's why I chose this guy. Of course there. Actually, there are a lot more better skills in the look at all that love. Anyway. That's why I like this guy, but there are a lot more nicer skills. Though, it's 
still. Oh shit! Ow! Haha! -ha. Shit! Ow! Ow! Ooh! Haha! -ha. I out kicked you! Ow! Oh shit! I'm dead. And I blink out the distance. And I lost half my gold. Oh shit! That is so bad right now. So much money from beating the shit out of those two bosses, and I lost, and I just lose it. Oh, sucks. Twenty-five gold down the drain. Maybe I should have spent it. You know what? Yeah. You did not see anything. When we come back, I would have not died, and I would have spent that fifty gold on a tattoo. Later. Bye-bye.